if you're doing your GCSE or you're a GCSE math teacher right now and you're ashamed, I'm really sorry. So 2012, so that's 10 years ago, that's 10 years ago. I've got a headache. We're gonna skip this question. Let's just pretend we never saw this question. I'm not a fan of maths, but I managed to get an A. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Helena and I'm a fourth year medical student and today's video is gonna be very random, a fun video. So today I will be doing a GCSE examination paper. Background history like I always do. <laughs> I sat my GCSE in 2012. So 2012, so that's 10 years ago, guys, 10 years ago. Hey, oh my Jesus. I mean, head only pausing. Oh God. And I'm gonna sit a paper that I've not seen. So I found a random paper online. So I remember that I did the Edexcel paper, yes. So I'm gonna do an Edexcel paper and the paper that I found is from 2019 and it's gonna be the non-calculator exam. For my GCSE, uh, for maths, I actually got an A, but we'll see today if that's the same. To be fair, maths is actually not my favorite subject. I'm not a fan of maths, but I managed to get an A and even for A-levels, I wanted to pick A-level maths. I actually attended my A-level maths class for like two days. And then last minute, I changed my mind and I picked philosophy and ethics instead, instead of doing maths, because I just thought it'd be too much. But philosophy and ethics was quite tasky as well in terms of essay writing. But anyways, enough of that. So today I'll be doing a GCSE math examination and I will be sharing my screen with you as I go along. Let me actually find the paper. Okay guys, hopefully this is not an epic fail. So, let's just put Helena. Um, okay, center number, candidate number, ignore that. Okay, I can only use a black pen. All answers, I can show my working out. No calculators, there's 80 marks. Okay, okay, I think I'm ready to sit the paper. So let me put a timer for one hour, 30 minutes. Okay, one hour and 30 minutes. Blue cubes, red cubes and yellow cubes in the box. The table shows the probability of taking at random a blue cube in the box. The number of red cubes in the box is the same as number of yellow cube in the box. Okay, okay. So the number of red cube and the number of yellow cubes in the box, so they're equal the same. Okay, so they are only blue cube, red cube and yellow cube in the box. The number of red cube in the box is the same as the number of yellow cube in the box. So I'm guessing the total probability has to equal one. So I'm going to say obviously one minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. Half that, since they're the same, will be 0 0.4. So 0 0.4, 0 0.4. I think so. Now I'm doubting myself. The next one. There are 12 blue cubes in the box. Work out the total number of cubes in the box. So there's 12. Okay, so we need to find the total. So blue is 12. So plus, we need to plus the red plus the yellow, which will equal something that we don't know. So this was 0 0.2, and this was 0 0.4, and this was 0 0.4. Guys, don't watch my work now. If you're doing your GCSE, or you're a GCSE math teacher right now, and you're ashamed, I'm really sorry. But this is my way of working things out. Yeah, don't recommend it, but this is just the way my brain functions. 
spin it back to it. So 0 0.2 equals, so if 0 0.2 equals 12, then 0 0.4 is basically double. So that would be 24. No, wait, yeah, double. So that's 24 plus 24, if you get what I mean, guys. Can you see what I'm doing here, guys? So wait, yeah, it's basically double. So 24 plus 24 is 48 plus 12, which is 60. Okay, I'm gonna put 60. If this is wrong, I'm so sorry, guys. Next question. Oh, I've got a headache. Okay, Dean needs 50 grams of sugar to make 15 biscuits. She also needs three times as many flours as sugar. Okay, let's break this down. Three times as much flours as sugar. So flour, no, three times as many flours as sugar and two times, hey, 50 grams equals 15 biscuits. I'm gonna put biscuits, okay, cool. And this is sugar, cool. She also needs, so she needs three times as many flours as sugar. So sugar times by three equals flour basically, oh, flour. Two times as much butter as sugar. So sugar times two basically equals butter. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm getting somewhere. So Dean, oh, oh, it's, I, I've been saying Dean, Dion, sorry. Sorry. And the first time says 15, so he's actually over here, so he's making 60 biscuits instead. So if he's making 60 biscuits, that is times four of what we've got there. I can't use a calculator in this. So, okay, so 50 times four is 200. Okay, so that's 200 grams of sugar. Brilliant, yeah, sugar, yeah, yeah. Look how the amount of flour, flour. So since there's 200 and I said times three, here we times by three equals 600. So we need 600 grams. I think I got that right. I'm not jinxing. Dion has to buy all the butter she needs to make biscuit. She buys the butter in 250 packs. How many packs of butter does Dion need to buy? Okay, now this is taking a piss. So 60 biscuits again. So 60 biscuits. She buys 250 grams of butter. Cool. How many packs of butter does she need to buy? So before I said, so we know the sugar is 200 grams for this. So it's 200 grams. And we said that was times two. So that's 400. So that's how much butter we need. So 400 grams divided by 250 grams, which is gonna be a weird number. So we need 250, 250. So we need about 500 grams so we can be able to make 400 grams. So I'm gonna put two. Did you get me guys? <laughs> Next question. Oh God. The diagram shows the plane front elevation and side elevation of a solid shape drawn on a centimeter grid. In the space below, draw a sketch of the solid shape. Give the diamond. Okay, we might have to skip this one because this is just. Let me just see. But it's two marks. I can't just use two marks like that. So in the space below, draw a sketch of the solid shape. Oh, okay. Let me just try. I don't think they want me to do the right measurements. Oh, okay. That's looking horrible. So let's just imagine, this is a cheat because I'm using my iPad. Then how do we get, so the plane is a circle. Please, what shape is this? Hey, oh my Jesus. I'm not understanding this shape. We're gonna skip this question. Let's just pretend we never saw this question because I know I'm drawing. Oh, 
Okay, okay. So Q and R is 10 centimeters. BC equals PQ. Cool. So we don't know these, but they equal each other. So they equal each other. So we need to find this length. When you did this here, who cares? Who cares? Who? We're just kidding. That's 26 centimeters. And the area of this one is 45 centimeters squared. So we need to find the length of this. Cool. So this is the missing length we need to find. Okay, so we can use the area of this. So, area of a rectangle is basically length times this. So, in this case, that's 45 centimeters squared. We know one of the length, which is 10. So, 10 centimeters times by base equals 45 centimeters squared. But then we can then divide, so if we divide 45 by 10, we can then get the base, which is 40, no, 4.5 centimeter, which equals P and Q. So that's PQ, and PQ is also BC. Hey, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so 4.5, 4.5. Cool. So that means this is 4.5 because it's the same on both sides. So 4.5 times by 2 equals 9. So then 26 minus 9 equals 17? 17. 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. Please add the answer. 26. Oh. Hey. Oh, thank God. I thought I had to calculate. It says work out an estimate. Work out the square root of 63.5 times. But estimate. So do I just round it? I'm going to round it to oh, 64. Because the square root of 64 is 8. It's 8. 8 sum. 8. Isn't that in Drake's song? The square root of 64 is 8. I'm pretty sure that's in Drake's song. I'm sure Drake has a song that he mentioned about the square root of 64 or 60 something. Square root of 69 is 8 sum. My bad, he actually said the square root of 69 is 8 sum. Richard says that the people on coach A are younger than the people on coach B. Is Richard correct? Is Richard correct? And I need to give a reason. I'm going to say yes because the, the least age and the medium is lower in coach a compared to coach B. Wait, oh god richard says that the people on coach a vary more in age than people on coach b okay for this one i'm gonna say no because why am i saying no Okay, because the range in coach B is higher than coach A. We'll see. Is the volume of Sophia, Sophia Q is 50% more than the volume of Sophia P. Okay, so the difference between this, 50%. So basically half. So basically times two. The volume of 
basically r is 50 percent more it's another one so that's basically times two find the find the volume of a sphere of sphere p as a fraction of the volume hold up hold up hold up pull up pull up pull up just pull up first of all wait is there like a guide don't they give like a cheat sheet or something like telling me what is the i'm pretty sure back in my days there was like a little guy that you get it tells you at least how to work out the volume of a sphere no 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 guide volume of sphere r hey okay Find the exact value of tan 30 times sin 60. So do your GCSE and you're ashamed right now. Me too, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed too. Looks like I have to end this video here because I actually have something to do right now. Um, and this is not me making an excuse not to finish this video. I genuinely have something to do right now. So I have to stop this video. But to sum up this experience here, for you guys doing your GCSE maths, honestly, good luck. Like you guys, I don't even know how I managed to get through GCSE maths and how I managed to get an A in GCSE maths. Cause at that time I found it quite like simple. Like it wasn't, like it was hard, but it wasn't like as hard as I'm finding it now. And bear in mind, the last time I've touched or even seen a proper GCSE paper was like 10 years ago. And I'm just like, what the heck is this? Imagine the A-levels. I have to cut this video short. So I didn't get to finish the paper, but the way it's looking, I'm not even gonna add up the scores because, oh, maybe I will, I'm not sure, but like, I'm not gonna add up the scores, right? Because I didn't even finish the paper. So it's not a true reflection of what i really got is this interesting doing a gcse math paper again the grade boundaries from when i did my gcse compared to the grade boundaries like um for people now is probably totally different i tried to do the 2019 paper because i was told that that paper was really hard but i'm not sure like, if you're doing your gcse's um yeah, comment down below. I'm not sure whoever's going to see this video. But guys, those that love maths, sounds up to you guys because it's not easy. I will just stick with the sciences and medicine and all that. <laughs> Even though in medicine, you do have to do like calculations and stuff. But these calculations are just something else. Drawing diagrams, drawing God knows. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next time I'll do this video properly and do a full paper. Or guys, suggest like what paper I should do in the comment section below. And I'll do, maybe I'll do a science GCSE paper or something. Or A-levels, we can just leave that. Because A-levels is already very traumatic. So A-level will just... Just leave that to the side basically, yeah. Like, if you want me to do this kind of video again, please comment down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are, you know, my OGs, hi, hello. Leave a like, share this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.